All right. Oh, All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? What is happening? <clears throat> Shout out to Fan Brothers TV Live. They're doing an Infinity War spoiler. Shout out to everybody that went and saw that movie. That movie has apparently made close to $800 million worldwide. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So uh, everybody that's watched it, I certainly hope they enjoyed it. Uh, I got a couple of Q&A questions for Infinity War, so some mild spoilers. I picked out some of the ones that aren't spoiler heavy, so uh, we'll go do that. So, yeah, what is going on, people? It is Thursday. I'm here in my hot apartment because for some reason it won't get cool. <clears throat> Even though I got the air conditioner, I know what you, you smart asses are going to say. So, but uh, check it out, everybody. I certainly hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I am off tomorrow. I got a funeral to go to. So, uh, do I want to do this podcast? Have a have a conversation with with you guys. Say what up. Uh, so, you know what's going on, disinfect enemy. So, uh, yeah, I know you're just kidding. So, uh, but a uh, shout out to uh, Lincoln Clay six seventy. I know he's doing a. Uh, one on one right now with uh, my main man Carlos Fernandez. So, uh, big shout out to them. Didn't mean to rub into their podcast. I thought he'd be done by nine, but uh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get this cracking because I'm gonna <clears throat> jump on that PlayStation here for a couple hours tonight. Uh, play that Elite Dangerous, maybe stream it. Or I might play Mass Effect and Drama. I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So, yeah, but what is going on, everybody, from the East Coast to the West Coast? What's going on, everybody? Certainly hope everybody had a had a good good day. You got Echo. Oh, I, there's an Echo here. All right, hold on. <clears throat> All right, it's good now. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not listening to, the, to it. I do see everybody here, though. Uh, shout out to everybody. This is, I mean, I've not done a Thursday night show like this in months. And you all are probably like, man, you're doing podcasts all around the, uh, all around. What's going on, 809? And it's just, well, I don't get, I didn't get off till 730. So, um, uh, have I been playing Star Citizen? No, I haven't been able to play Star Citizen. So the closest I'm getting to it is, um, is my Elite Dangerous. <laughs> So I heard nothing but good things about it, though. So uh, as soon as they come out with the finished product, I'll I'll be ready to buy it. That's kind of what I'm I'm uh, I'm aiming at. So, but I got my i five. I got my I'm getting my saving up for my motherboard right now. So, so I got an i five. I got a um, I've got a AMD uh, five eighty. Uh, shout out to uh, nine hundred one uh, for the nine for the uh, nine eighty. So. Um, but um, so yeah, I should be able to run that game. At uh, according to, I put the specs in, and I got an email back said I should be able to run that game at uh, anywhere from fourteen forty p to fourteen forty p sixty frames. So somewhere in that, you know, I may have to drop it down to uh, twelve hundred p. But that's it. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry, I have something in my throat. That's not a good way to podcast. I apologize. So, but what's up, everybody? Certainly hope everybody's had a good evening, a, a good afternoon. So, I hope everybody's family's doing well. So, uh, mine, we're just holding on, you know, got a couple things that have happened. So, I appreciate everybody's condolences. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and get it started here. As you can see, I got a couple of uh, topics. I got a few topics to run through. And I got a QA for, uh, man, I got, you know, where that, you know, where were all the other Avengers? What's going on, HP player? How you doing, man? Um, I got a lot of questions on where were some of these other Avengers at, and uh, I'll answer. I'll be able to answer some of them, but not. I won't be able to answer all of them. So, but we'll start. Let me go ahead and start with Ant Man and Walks. 
Well, what's happening with Ant Man and Wasp is that that movie is happening before the events of Infinity War. Okay, Ant Man and Wasp is roughly happening. Um, maybe it's happening maybe three months after Black Panther happened. It's happening after Civil War as well. That's why Scott Lang. You've seen the commercial. He has that. Uh, you know, he, he's a he's he's on house arrest. He is on house arrest. So, and uh, so. Um, so since he's on house arrest, <laughs> Jay Wag, what's happening? Halo Storm, what's happening? Uh, so since so Scott Lang's on house arrest, it's happening right after Civil War, right in that frame, you know. So that's the timeline of Ant Man and Walls. So they, that's why they weren't in Infinity War, okay? And uh, there, it stands to reason that when they go into the uh, quantic realm, time acts differently there. So they're not going to be affected by what happened in. in Infinity War, but they they are very instrumental to what happened in Infinity War. Uh, with Scott Lang, same thing with Hawkeye. People would say, well, what happened with Hawkeye? Again, he was on house arrest with his, um, uh, because they couldn't stand to be away from their families. So, you know, so this this so everybody understands that. So what's going on? I hope everybody's doing good. So, uh, but that's what was going on with those those two Avengers, you know, well, three Avengers. So, and so we move on to the next question. Where was uh, everybody's favorite Valkyrie, uh, Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie character, and uh, what? And pretty much, she she escaped. Uh, she she and Korg, and this has been confirmed by the producer and directors that she escaped. So, uh, so they're they're going to be fine. Okay, those those characters are fine. Now, where are they? Uh, post finger snap, so to speak, we don't know, but they did escape from Thanos. So we'll just leave it there. Uh, another th another question is how come they didn't show uh, which call it being destroyed when Thanos got the power stone? Uh, they cut it out. That's just a fact. They cut that out. It will be part of your Blu-ray DVD, and the Blu-ray DVD, uh, hard to believe, uh, is slated to come out in July. Like literally, come out in July. Like right around Ant Man and Walsh, like two weeks after Ant Man and Walsh, I think it's going to come out. So maybe it'll come out in August. So all right, but we'll move on here. So you can see I got my thread there. So um, I'll start with what happened with uh, State of Decay two. Now I was sim. I don't care. I've said this before. I don't care for zombie games. Okay, the two best zombie games I played was. Um, Oh, what was the one where you were in the mall? I can never remember this one. There was the one where you were in the in the mall, and there were zombies in that mall, and you could just throw chairs at them, throw, just do go ham. So somebody answered me that question. The zombie game where you were in the mall. I can't remember what it was called. And uh, so I like that one. And, of course, my favorite one is Resident Evil 2. That is the best zombie game ever created. It's, oh, yeah, Dead Rising. Thanks, j -Wax. Uh, it's so facto, that's just the way it's going to be. Resident Evil 2, can't nobody, uh, can't nobody step to, to Resident Evil 2. I liked Resident Evil 5 more than I liked Resident Evil 4. I know people can't stand that, but I don't need other grown-ass men's justification. I liked Resident Evil 5 more than 4, and if you don't understand that, you can suck my big black pet rock, if you know what I'm saying. I got a new pet rock, and it is big, and it is black, and it is heavy. So uh, people got to stop trying to justify what they buy through media and through other grown-ass men. I've never seen anything like it before. So but so I'll go on to State of Decay. I, I saw what happened with State of Decay, and you, know, you got people saying it looks like trash. It's going to be garbage. And what... What you're seeing with State of Decay is a service-based game, okay? Games as a service. They're going to give you some stuff. I'm sure there'll be more to do in there than, say, a Sea of Thieves. That's what it seemed like, basically, on the previews. But um, but it's, um, it's, it's, it is what it is, folks. Uh, shout out to... Um, um, damn, I wanted to say... Uh, shout out to Jack Lou Johnny. Jack Lou Johnny said... I don't know, hell, a year ago, that the Xbox, in order for them to hit 4K on a lot of their games, 
they were going to have to use these crazy looking cartoon looking graphics. And that's what we're getting. And, you know, you got people running around upset, mad, you know, and um, I don't understand what people really expected because um, it's a console that ha okay, you have the equivalent of a 580 as a GPU, but the CPU is hot garbage. I mean, and the developers have said that CPU is straight up garbage. Okay, so I, I mean, that's just it's um, that's just the way it is. Right? And so when you don't have a CPU that can help map faster than the GPU is trying to process, you're going to get games like and again look i'm not mocking the games i don't want to hear anybody say well you're mocking these games no i mean shout out to jack boo johnny he said this months ago i mean it's i mean it's been such a long time ago but you know it, he was called um um you know he was called all kind of names i mean we'll get into that with the main topic i want to go into but am i going to buy state of decay too the answer was i was already on the fence with it so at this point, the answer is no. And part of the reason is because I'm not investing in my Xbox anymore. Uh, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm not knocking it. It's just not the console console for me. Uh, the reason why it's not the console for me is nothing the console did wrong. The console is fine. I don't have an issue with it. It's just no longer something I want to play on. And not to mention, I got, you know, I sold it for a handful of magic beans to a troll under a bridge. He had a handful of magic beans and he had some kind of liquor with three X's on it. And I took both of those things and I'm giving him my Xbox X. The deal was I needed to let, uh, shout out to Sick Humor TV, because Sick Humor gave me 90 days of Xbox Gold. So I my 90 days is up at the end of this month. So there's no reason for me to keep um, my Xbox because I got I can grow a beanstalk and just get the hell out of here. Maybe when I climb that beanstalk, I'll be able to find some exclusive games for the Xbox. So and, you, you know, you know, it's bad in the Xbox community when they're already talking about E3, which is what in June or July. Hell, I can't remember. It's a it's a long time from now. And, you know, I, I'm going to do my E3 prediction show. That was going to be part of what I did tonight. But shit, there's no reason to because everybody's already done one. So, um, you know, you got it's so bad in the Xbox community. They're pretending that uh, some game called Shadow of the Tomb Raider is an exclusive game, even though it's going to be on like multiple platforms. I mean, that's how sorry these folks are at this point. But back to. Um, but again, State of Decay, I don't, uh, to me, the game didn't look that good. I mean, that, and this is a part of the problem with people jumping on this whole, what games look like. I mean, because the Sea of Thieves, I'm not here to say it's not fun at all. I enjoy playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, shout out to Fatal and uh, Ian Robertson and Sick Humor. We were playing one day. You can cut up, you know, you cut up with your friends. But I really want people to understand that's what Microsoft wants us to do. Microsoft wants us to, I mean, and I think it's stupid. I've said this before. They want you to come home, put on a headset, and go shoot the Arbiter. That's what they want. They want you to do that with a group of friends. And that's and so they're making, so are you shocked they made a game that requires you to, you know, more than likely at the bare minimum play with one other player? So, yeah, play with what's going on? Don't call me Danny. So am I still the Messiah of Xbox? Well, I, uh, not at the end of the month. Oh, I'll always be the Messiah. That will never change. Okay, let's just get that through everybody's head in the Xbox community. I'm the reason why the Xbox community is in the peril, the throes of anguish that it is now. That was my doing. I read that edict, and that edict has come down. The judgment has been raining on them. So, but yeah, shout out to Jay Wags. Yeah, it's a service-based game and it doesn't, and No Man's Sky on the PlayStation is similar. Okay, they put out a base game. They've been adding to it to Hello Games credit. They're adding to it. They're still supporting it. So, you know, so a, a game like a Sea of Thieves and, you know, this, this State of Decay, it's going to be the same thing. The problem is that, 
is that the people that are online that were caping for the Xbox, they they caped a whole bunch of resolution and and what games look like. And the two games that are, I mean, they got two games come out that have come out this year look like straight up got it. I mean, I, and, and look, I'm not here to say the games aren't fun, but you think about going back to December, they released something called a PUBG, which looks and plays like straight up trash. I don't care. I mean, if you like it, you like it, but don't try to come in here and be intellectually dishonest and say that game runs like a dream. I mean, it doesn't. Ghost Recon Future Soldier, whatever that was called, runs better than PUBG. And, and that Ghost Recon game was dis, was trash on a stick. That was you, your Herbie Kirby sitting next to you in your car. That is your date smelling like a skunk and you still got to pay $46.18 plus tip before you can take her home. You know, just good grief. You know, um, I mean, I don't, people are talking about the gameplay in it and i don't know what the gameplay is going to be in it so i just know it's going to be straight trash you know and um and, and i'm not playing it. i mean i'm not here to knock anybody that's playing it i will i will be playing detroit become human and um god willing and and the, you know that's it i made my decision so but getting back to why i sold my xbox i mean it's not out of malice or hate it's just nothing on there and I realized this when I was talking to this troll under the bridge is that I, the games that I really like, you know, the Bioshocks, the, the Knights of the Old Republic, the Skyrims, Oblivion, Fallout, I, I can, besides Knights of the Old Republic, I can play those. Every game I just named is available on PlayStation, all of them. And again, these were my favorite games on the Xbox. I mean, these are the games that when I woke up Saturday mornings, I stopped watching college football game day. I stopped watching the first college football game because I was loving playing on my Xbox 360 so much. And I realized that what the Xbox One, all they needed to do was make the Xbox 360 on steroids. And they didn't do that. Now, the Xbox X, with backwards compatibility and stuff like that. People are like, well, Microsoft is pro-consumer with the backwards compatibility. What you don't understand is that Xbox, the first group of people they got to get to get an Xbox One S or X are the people on the 360. So the best way to get them is to keep bringing backwards compatible games. That, that way they get enough people to trade in their 360s to get Xbox Ones. I mean, that's why they're doing what's going on, Milkmaster. Uh, that's exactly why people are getting um, – that's what Microsoft wants. Okay, they don't, they don't want to keep supporting the 360, so they're putting games that are very popular on the 360, okay, and they're moving them over to the Xbox One as backwards compact. Uh, look, Mass Effect was mine. That's what, that's, what, that's what got me to get up when Major Nelson on, um, on N7 Day – announced that uh all the mass effects and all the back all the dlc was going to be backwards compat i walked and remember this is november 7th i walked to gamestop and got me an xbox one uh xbox one s so and i don't want to hear it so <laughs> you know so and i've had one two xbox one s's i've got an xbox x that i got rid of so my s i'll still play on my s okay i'll, I'll be able to you know, get my S back, get it up and running. My brother, he don't really play on it, even though he watched those couple 4K movies on it. But uh, where he had his accident, I told you all about, he's doing mostly rehab and light duty work now. So he said the damn things is sitting there. So I'll be getting it back. Um, I'll, hell, I'll probably get it back Saturday. But um, so I'll be good. So you play on a pro, a 1080p TV, and a super center. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, um, uh, as long as you are enjoying the games, yeah, the pro does super sampling. So does the Xbox. Look, I'm playing um, um, Mass Effect 3 on my Xbox X, and it looks fantastic. It's just you have to tell. You, I have a 4K TV, so I have to tell the um, I have to tell the Xbox to output the game at 1080p. 
that's all you have to do. Then that super sampling kicks in. Yeah, it looks fantastic. You're getting the 1080p output, and I'm getting the 4K dynamic upscale through the TV. So I'm good. I I'm happy. So um, no, it wasn't Ghost. It was Ghost Recon Future Soldier or something like that. I mean, the game was garbage. It was garbage. You know. So and um, but but yeah. I mean, my my point is that um, you know. People are mock people mock state of decay, and you know I heard the damage control. It's oh these articles are out there because people can hate Xbox. I mean I don't understand that man. I I truly don't understand why there's a group of people who literally think there's people waking up in the morning trying to run Xbox into the ground. That nobody is doing that, okay? And and that's that's what's scary. Is that I've actually tried to engage those people on a humanistic, altruistic level. I'm not, I don't do that crap anymore. Okay. Anybody who bought an Xbox X, I'm talking about an Xbox X, and you did not do your homework, your research on what the Xbox X was going to be about, you got hole in you. Okay. That's all I can say. You got hole in you. So that thing, when I found out what it was going to be able to do, which is a little bit more than the pro, which I, I that's the truth. That's what it's doing. Um, I said this thing is worth about two hundred and fifty dollars because it's not like they're going to have a whole lot of games. They never what's going on, Thomas. They were never going to have a whole lot of games. OK, they are dependent on what third party games. OK, that's what they're dependent on. And if you're going to be dependent and beholden to a third party entity, you're you're not your own console. OK, you can't be your own man. So you will always be dominated by third by a third party, not your first party IP, which, again, the first party IP. You got two shooters, Gears and Halo. You got two driving games, Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsports. And then that's pretty much all you got. OK, I mean, you got you got Sea of Thieves, which all right, it's first party. You got uh, this this State of Decay coming out, which I mean I'm not here to say those games aren't good at one man's junk, but uh, another man's treasure. But it's uh yeah mine is sold. I sold it to that troll. So and uh, yeah Xbox is in State of Decay. Yeah I mean to me the why I mean I'll go move into this here shortly. But but to me the reason I sold mine is because I'm no longer that type of gamer. That's just reality for me. You know, I don't want to come home and go online and, and I get why people want to do it, because when I was playing Descent and Diablo and Rainbow Six on PC, I couldn't wait to get home and play online. OK, we had LAN parties, meaning that you would take your computer over to your friend's house and you would hook it up through that landline. I don't even know if they still have do you. all Have you all ever heard of a, of a LAN party, L.A.N. party? You know, we had these parties all the time. And, yeah, you would sit there and your friend would sit there with his computer somewhere else and you would play. So how's everyone doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing OK. <laughs> I'm doing OK. How you doing? That's the main thing. So how are you doing? So it's Wednesday night. That's what it is. OK, so let me turn I'm thinking it's Thursday night. I am all jacked up for tomorrow. So, all right, there we go. Turn on CBS. So, yeah, so, I mean, I'm not here to run Xbox into the ground. Look, I got a good deal. I got me some Ripple and a handful of Magic Beans, and that's about all I can ask for because the only games I'm playing on Xbox are old games. And I can just, you know, I can get an Xbox One S to do that. I can get a 360. And so there's just I, I can't I can't tell people what to do with their money, but I'm just and I'm not saying this to be funny at all. You need to wait to E3 if you're going to buy an Xbox One X because um, that you you will at least be able to get to see what they're doing in the future. They're going to announce like some JRPGs. OK, they're going to announce that um, they're going to uh, be showing Anthem running. I think Anthem may be released in um, 2019. Uh, in, in the summer, maybe in the summer of 19, maybe uh, they're going to show cyberpunk on the Xbox. Uh, again, these are multi-plat games. I know. And that's the whole thing is that 
though these are multi-plat games and, and and before everybody says well uh everybody buys uh the play multi-plats and that's no different than saying well the game's so better on the playstation because there's more playstations out in the wild it's like yeah of course they're going to sell more on the playstation so you know but I, i'm so i this people are on this thing of well if you say something negative about the xbox or something like that that you're being you know you're talking down on the brand and it, and nobody i've not heard anybody attack the xbox in a negative light okay i've heard people say the games are shitty that they put now in their opinion that's fine but that's you know we'll we'll get back to that and let me um so let me go ahead and uh just again why i so that's why i sold my xbox because you know Games like, like State of Decay 2 and Sea of Thieves, that's what they want people to do, okay? They're no longer, I mean, you know, when I, when I called Xbox, like I said, um, my SSID, my ex would not recognize my SSID. So they had to walk me through something called a hard reboot. So she told me over the phone, this was an Xbox customer service rep. She said, quote, 99% of what the Xbox does, you have to be online for. All right, so I'm going to say that again so that people really understand that. 99% of what the Xbox does is you, you have to be online for. And when she said that, it was like taking the ice bucket challenge. It's like, you know what? You're right. You know, you, you say you're pro-consumer or you say Xbox is pro-consumer. Why do I need um, games with gold or Xbox Live, whatever you want to call it, to activate uh, backwards compatibility on these games? What's so you know what's so pro consumer about that? Okay, so I can just get a 360 and just start playing. So you give you five dollars more for somebody? What'd you say? We all time. I'll oh, give you five dollars more on an Xbox trade in. <laughs> so yeah if, yeah if you can't distinguish your product compared to the comp competition what are you in gaming for yeah that's a good point that's a very good point i mean if you want to play the best version of multiplats you you game on pc okay i'm not i'm never backing off of that when i saw far cry 5 running at 1440p high settings with at over close to 100 frames per second i'm like why are these people i mean this is Pathetic. I mean, these consoles are 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 garbage compared to what I saw. Now, granted, this guy's got an i seven and a and a ten seventy or so. I don't know. It was some ridiculous thing. You know, he got sixteen gigs of RAM, and his computer was changing colors for Christ's sake. You know, and uh, and I'm just I don't get why people don't understand that. Um, you know, I don't get why they don't understand um that people just do not want the xbox i mean it's a product i'm not here to i mean the people the masses have have just said no they don't want it. uh xbox is out people said it was the power was going to be all this stuff and when it turned out not to be i mean if the power was so great how come there's not a line of people at my local best buy or at my local GameStop or target walmart just just running in there buying them. you know they can't keep them on the shelves and the reason why is because it's a product, it's out, it really doesn't offer anything special, okay? Except, yeah, some of the games do look a little bit better. I'm not here to say that they don't. And I get why, I, I, I now get why the PS4 folks are kicking the Xbox people in their, in their balls because it was, Microsoft never came out and said at an executive level, let me make this clear, Microsoft at an executive level never said beast is coming. Okay. Microsoft never said that. Okay. So what I understand why the people in the PlayStation community are kicking them in the balls, but my question to you guys, not maybe not to you in the chat, but my question is just why, how much more are they going to take? Okay. You, I heard crap gamer. Literally, Crap Gamer reviews. He was doing a one-on-one -on -one with Next Gen 720. Crap Gamer said, quote, I'm going to play Xbox to my fingers fall off, but they're never going to win. That's from Crap Gamer. That's what Crap Gamer said, okay? Quote, they're never going to win. 
Um, you got, you know, you got guys like, you know, you have people coming out, major heavy Xbox guys, uh, Griffin Game uh, coming out, ripping the Xbox community, ripping them, okay? Uh, you got Xbox guys on Twitter, at least that I saw, emailing and tweeting, if you want to call it that, uh, sending Insomniac Games incendiary messages over Spider-Man. That that's not what winners do. That's what losing looks like. People want to know, you know, PlayStation. If you're a PlayStation dude or guy, that's what winning looks like. That's what total victory looks like. So, I mean, I understand you want to kick them in the balls because for the last 17 months, you heard Beast is coming. Um, um, you know, whatever else. I mean, what else did they say? I mean, my favorite one is Beast is coming. You know. Uh, I've heard that one. That's my favorite one. So uh, anybody else got one that they said, you know, what these Xbox guys were saying? And because I understand that, hey, look, you want to throw it back in their faces. I said this on Twitter the other day. You know, I said that it's OK to change your mind because you get more information. But nobody's going to let you believe. Uh, nobody's going to yeah, X going to give it to you. Well, that. That was marketing. I'm talking about what did the Xbox fanboys say that really this you couldn't believe they were saying. Mine is beast. The beast is coming. Okay, that's my favorite one. Okay, I didn't know if you all got got another one. Um, you know, it's going to run everything 4K 60. I think I heard that a whole bunch of times. We all know that's bullshit. You know, so um, I, I mean, miss my whole thing is that you know, you know they're motivated by fear. Now, a savage, what is going on? Maybe you know this. I, somebody tweeted me, Titanfall 6K. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that one too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I did hear that one. Yeah. But let me ask, what is going on with this Shadow of the Tomb Raider game? Is it really going to be 4K60? Or did, or did the developer misspeak or get misquoted? So... But yeah, these Xbox guys can suck a big black, uh, my big black rock. So that's all I can say. So yeah, Phil is the false. I am the true messiah of gaming. That's right. I, I have brought the end of the Xbox to you all. But, you know, I can't, I, I guess <laughs> the Xbox are acting like ragey Hillary supporters. I Yeah, that's pretty, that's a good one. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's pretty damn funny. So, but my whole thing is, what do you all think victory looks like? Because these, there's not going to be a Salem Witch trial or a Nuremberg trial for these Xbox guys. I mean, it should be enough that they got nothing uh, right. So it will not be 4K60. Okay. Well, I mean, again, so they, that's fine. Uh, was it just a misquote then? I mean, I saw somebody do a video on it already, but I didn't know if that was true or not. So. You know, but I mean, I get it. You guys are kicking. I mean, Sony. All right, look, Sony is the dominant console this this life cycle. OK, Sony got back the market that it lost to Xbox last gen. Plus has is eaten into Microsoft's um, and they've eaten into it. I mean, they've eaten into Microsoft's uh, market. So and then you have the switch pulling up the rear. They're going to be, I mean, hell, they may surpass the Xbox this year or by next June or whatever they said. So, you know, I mean, who's getting Shadow of the Tomb Raider? So you tweeted me a picture of the beast. OK, so but that's my favorite one. Yeah, Savage brought a uh, yeah, X going to give it to you. But what is the one that the fanboy you you this when you saw or you heard somebody say it, you just rolled your eyes and it's like, what the fuck are they talking about? You know, it's one of those things you were like, Negro, please. You know, that is not happening. So, so the only Xbox is shot. Okay. I mean, my, mine is not. It's just it. I traded a handful of Magic Beans and Ripple for, um, you know, for, for my Xbox. I mean, I ain't going to turn down a bottle of Ripple. So, you know, this this so you all know. <laughs> You know, but uh, but I, this is what victory looks like. I mean, I don't I'm trying to I just I'm really trying to understand. I get why people are kicking Xbox and they're not going to stop. 
you know, but maybe if you all understood, hey, look, you know, <laughs> maybe if you all understood, look, it's over with. The dad could barely speak English. He said it wrong. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, wow. Well, there you go. You know, that's that Price is Right Lose song again. So all ponies will get an Xbox One X because we have the most powerful console. You ponies are done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. You're right. Wow. That is a real good one. So we got two. We got two. What's, what's number three? What is number three? So, uh, you know, like I said, I told you what mine, mine was. So, uh, but what's number three? So all ponies will get an X. But yeah, yeah, I do remember that one. How about quote? Um, the games are going to look so much better on the Xbox that um, that 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 the that the, that the PlayStation community will will uh, will leave their uh, ecosystem, and then those first party developers will come over. So. But we only got two. I mean, that's that's uh, I'm disappointed, guys. I mean, I figured you all heard something that the Xbox said that you just couldn't believe they said, it. you know, so ponies on suicide watch. All right. That's a, that's number three. That's a good one, too. All right. So is it enough that those uh, six better than four? Well, now that's true. That is a true number of math. So. Um, so. All right, what if I told you they were wrong about everything and you have now quantified evidence they were wrong about everything? Is that enough? Or do you all want to keep kicking them in the balls? I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out when enough's enough, okay? I mean, they thought power was everything. Clearly, it's not. You know, we heard rising CPU. Clearly, that was a GD lie. We heard, uh, I'm still waiting on my 1080p 60 mode for the next 30 days on Assassin's Creed. 4K makes you a better gamer. Um, I thought that was more of a rib. I mean, but well, all right, that's number four. We'll throw that in there. Well, okay, it's not true, though. But my point is that that's not true. So all games looking run better on Xbox. Yeah, we know that's not true. So that's that's five. So we need we need a few more. Because I really don't think you all know what victory looks like, especially business wise. So, see if these will last longer than God of War and outsell. Uh, yeah, well, we already know that's, yeah, you're right. That's a good one. That's a great one, Spartan God. But they were wrong about that. Whoever said that was wrong. 16 flops couldn't beat the God of War. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. But I don't think Xbox said that, though. All right, everything you guys have said never came out of Microsoft, okay? So, you know, that was said by Digital Foundry. So, you know, Crap Gamer said, and uh, I heard him say that the only game that really stands out is um, Shadow or whatever, Shadow of Mordor. They said that's the only game right now that really stands out. That's his words. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. So, so you still got shot in Fortnite in 4K. It didn't help you none. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. So, I agree. It does not make you a better gamer. So, but all right, so we got like five or six. Yeah. But okay, what now name me out of all six things that you guys have said. Uh, uh, no, that's already been shot down, 901. Um, the, the dev was misquoted. The dev was misquoted. It's not, it happens. It happens. Um, how is that possible? It's, it's, I mean, they could do a enhanced mode at 60, but, uh, like, you know, will it be, I mean, I think they could do 1440 P with 60, you know, but, uh, with their X. So crap talk shit. Well, I mean, again, this is, that's coming out of his mouth. So, but the yeah, PSVR is a gimmick. The Xbox X is making the best VR for, yeah, okay, okay. Now, that's a good, that's another good one, Grudy of Legends. All right, that's a good one. Now, you, out of everything you got, Soup Station, okay, but we know that's, okay. All right, so everything you guys said, okay, fine, fine, fine. You name me one thing that you guys quoted them on that they were right about. Name, name me one thing they were right about. 
And if you do, I'll 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 buy you a uh, month of uh, PSN. Name me one thing they were right about. Okay, I will buy you a month of PSN on Friday. God will. Everything that you all just named, and you all named at least seven or eight quotes coming out of the Xbox community. So you name me one thing those clowns were right about. Just name it. Uh, the Xbox X will have Oculus Rift. Um, that Xbox was supposed to have their own first party uh, VR. They never made it, though. So what's going on, Lincoln Clay? Big shout out to Lincoln Clay and uh, his interview he did with Carlos Fernandez tonight. But I'm asking you guys, what out of all the quotes you gave me, you name me one quote that you guys named. And again, you all had the quotes up. Name me one quote that you guys named that they were right about. And I will give you $10. I will buy you a gift card on Friday if I'm not in jail. <laughs> so I, I'm waiting on that. So, uh, talent beats power. Yeah, J Dog is right. J Dog is correct. So, so we're we're I'm waiting. The Xbox X will be comparable with all VR headsets. Again, okay, fine. I'm not here to say that. Okay, they did say that. They did say that. But name me one quote you've given me coming out of the Xbox community, coming out of the Xbox community that has been right so far. And it, this is this is a literal exercise that we're doing, literally, because what I'm getting you all to do is speak the spoken word, and then you're going to start seeing how how bad Sony has beaten me on this gene. So, what's up, honey hot sauce? So, so again, give me give me something that all the quotes we had, and there were some good ones. I mean, I, some I forgot about. You name me one of those quotes that they said that they were right about. So, you know, I'm, that's what I'm waiting on. So, you know, the Xbox has one of the best multi. But yeah, we know that's not true. I agree with you, Rudy Legends. Yeah. So again, name me one quote that they said that was correct. That's all I'm asking. So it is physically smaller. That's a fact. Yes, the pro is big. Again, you're right about that. No lie. So we'll leave nobody behind. That's what they're doing with backwards compatibility. So that's true. So that's from Xbox. See, the stuff that you guys are saying that actually came from Xbox executives has turned out to be true. So people bought X are having buyer remorse, but not admit. Well, yeah, no, they are admitting. No, if you heard Sick Humor this morning or yesterday, he went straight up ham on his podcast. So no, people are admitting it. So, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not asking too much. I'm asking everything that you guys have quoted that came out of the bullshit that came out of their mouths. I mean, this is call it what it is. You tell me what quote you've given me turned out to be true about what they said. Yes, Ed, the best third party games. Yeah, we know that's not true. They did say that. So you're right about that. So, but I'm trying to find I'm, what I'm trying again, I'm trying to get you guys to speak the spoken words. And then you're going to see how bad Sony has defeated them. Because it's really bad. So, true 4K. Um, yeah, they said that. That's from the executives, though. And what they mean by true 4K is what? Sparse, checkerboarding, and dynamic, as well as native. So, so, all right, so you guys, the pro has the best of both worlds, though. Yeah, I agree with that. So... The Xbox doesn't exist anymore. You guys are getting getting away from what I asked you. So do you see what's happened, though? Do you now see that what they said, none of it turned out to be true? So since none of it is true, you ought to be able to say, you know what? Get the hell. Yeah, lying feckers. Yeah. So let's just call them what they are. Let's call bullshit on them. And you can quit kicking them in the balls. Look, shout out to the Ash and Luca because she said, quote, 
this generation's over. That's a quote from her. She said, this generation is over, end quote, okay? So Sony has won this generation, end quote. So again, what more do you all want? I mean, that's all I'm asking here. Yeah, Xbox Live and PSN are pretty much equal at this point. Yeah, Xbox Live, last generation, no doubt. No doubt, okay? PS4 Pro third-party games is just as good and satisfying. Yeah, I mean, again, that's that's true. That's true. Live is more reliable. Well, they both go down, Spartan God. So, yes, Nintendo Switch said uh, as proven power doesn't matter. I agree with you, One uh, one Name Shadow. So. The Grim Reaper, okay. I mean, my point is that if she if she can look at it and say Xbox lost this generation, I, why can't you all say Xbox lost this generation? I'm saying it. I'm saying it. So, I mean, why can't you all? I mean, it's not a criticism of you. That's an observation. So, so despite you giving me quotes that they were wrong about, and they were wrong. I mean, let's call bullshit on them, okay? Let's just all call bullshit. So now that we've called bullshit, what are you willing to do now? So PSN giving out better AAA games. Oh, they didn't this month. I mean, that stuff was got it. So, you know, not this month they didn't. Maybe overall, but uh, not this month. So, waiting until eat. Here's the difference, though. You're right, Gritty Legends, 100%. Does that mean you have to answer the call, though? Because the war is over. Yeah, Xbox One died in 16. I'll go one year further back. I say in 15. So. You know, <laughs> it's just on it. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, again, but you see what all right, you see what I just did, though. You I you all quoted stuff. What's up, Stephen King? You all quoted things that the Xbox community did say. I mean, direct quotes, but they were wrong about all of it. So. I'm trying to get you all to, to see that they were wrong and that this generation has been a total loss for them. I mean, it's a total loss. I mean, I'm not here to say they don't make money. I'm not saying it's a total loss monetarily because they have recovered to make money with the system. Let's just keep it a buck on that one. But overall, the gaming of it, the gaming structure, what they got is straight got it. Trash. I'm talking... Take that shit up out of here. I'm talking back it up. Roto Rooter. So, um, so again, well, again, Halo Storm, power doesn't matter. All right. We already know it doesn't because we have quantified evidence that the Xbox X is more powerful and it ain't winning no MPDs and it's losing to the Switch, for Christ's sake, which is the least powerful. So, and the Xbox One S is outselling the damn X. That's the truth. That's the damn truth. So, I mean, again, I'm trying to get them, what I'm trying to do, Halo Storm, is tr I'm trying to get them to see how bad the, the, the loss has been for Xbox, okay? So, I mean, you got grown-ass men on Twitter pleading for games from developers, pleading. I mean, that is, that's unprecedented. Okay, I'm not here to say that people didn't want games like Cuphead and stuff like that. I fine. But I've never seen the vitriol at the companies as much as I've seen it uh, over the last three weeks, especially with Spider Man. I mean, especially with Spider Man. So don't be sorry, be better. Yeah, that's a good one from old Kratos. Yeah. Single player games have no impact. Yeah, that's a direct quote from. Uh, that's a direct quote from an executive, but he was wrong about that, right? We got we got proof he was wrong. Okay, he says single player games have no impact, but then they were on uh, Microsoft was hiring people to make a quote Horizon Zero Dawn clone game, end quote. All right, that so that proves what again called bullshit on them. That's all I'm saying. So, 
you know, don't be sorry, be better. What's up, Dave D? PS4 is more powerful than Xbox One and is outselling it, the Xbox. Uh, PS4 is more powerful than the Xbox One S, not the X. So, PS4 is a true gaming beast. Yeah, PS4 has more, more titles. That is true. Fable has returned due to Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, they were going to bring Fable back anyway, but that doesn't mean Horizon didn't help it along the way. I won't deny that. So, you're selling your virginity for a million dollars. Wow. So, power doesn't matter. Just enough power to get devs to make the games the way they want. Well, yeah. I mean, again, I'll stack Horizon Zero Dawn, Gran Turismo, or God of War graphically up against anything on the Xbox. Anything. But, I mean, that's just, that's just me, though. But do you see what has happened? Okay. First of all, hit that like button. That's free. Um, you all have got to understand that this is a total loss for Xbox this generation. And maybe then you can quit going back and forth with them because I right, look, they got kicked in their balls. I mean, how many times can you kick a man in their balls? Okay, it's over. It's done. You know, like like next gen was saying, come home, John Rambo. Come home. The war's over. The Sony has won. The the, the Derby is coming up this Friday. Go bet on the ponies. I mean, whatever you want to call it. So you don't have an Xbox X to sell. Uh, Civil War in the Xbox community. Yeah, that was sold by me, by the way. I pushed that. You know, I pushed that. Hmm. So I read your entire comment, Halo Storm. It's not a big deal. I mean, this thread, I mean, realistically, the podcast isn't about what you think. Literally, I'm not saying that to be an ass. It's about the PS4 fanboys, you know, kicking the shit out of the Xbox fanboys and trying to get them to understand that um, they don't have to. It's a total loss for Xbox. So trying to get them to come home, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got an Xbox Civil War in the community. That's, I mean, the generation's over. They got no exclusive games. They have a console that they built, that Xbox built that does a little bit more. So, you know. Oh, I beat God of War, if, if, for all you all who don't know. I, now, I, I just did the straight mission. I didn't do any side missions. Well, I did one side mission. So, uh, their ammo mostly better third party. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they, you, you got to look at it like it's not ammunition. They can have better third party games. What system are the third party games selling more on? Well, let's look at the let's look at the two big AAA third party games that have come out this year: uh, Monster Hunter and Far Cry Five. AAA multi plat games. Which system did those games sell better on? Ask yourself that. So, ask yourself that. So, you know, <laughs> hey, form a cue. I can't answer all the ladies at once. Oh, okay. So, hey, maybe Stormy Daniels will let you go ahead and knock the bottom out. Yeah, exactly. One name Shadow, PS4. So it doesn't matter that some of these games look better on the Xbox, does it? Because they're still being outsold. So. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Spartan God. See, Spartan God bringing facts. The weakest system for third-party games is the Xbox One S. There you go. Uh, uh, Halo Storm, that would be the Xbox One S, okay? That that has the inferior versions of multiplex. That's just a fact, okay? Like I said, you are not entitled to your facts when you're wrong. You can have your opinion. So, you know, third party games is not that much better. Well, I mean, again, now you're, well, well I mean, see, you're, but you see how fast you all got derailed by one comment about third party games. Who gives a shit what what they look like if they're selling better on if the other if, Halo Storm? If the other store is selling more popsicles in your store, it doesn't matter how much better your shit may taste. Okay, 
That you still don't understand. That's basic stuff, man. Basic stuff. You're still you're still arguing against basic stuff. That's why people are mocking you, and you may not give a shit about that. And that's your life. Your life. But damn, man, this you gotta get over yourself. So yeah, PS4 is stronger than the S. So you know it is. Yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about console specs, it is. So, so I mean, it's just it is what it is. Yeah, I'm sure Witcher Three looks awesome, no matter what TV you got. So, I played Witcher Three on a 1080p uh, Samsung, uh, 49 inches. Damn thing had 240 hertz. So, refresh hertz. So, that was one of the cleanest looking TVs I ever had. So, should never gotten rid of it. So, yeah, they do look basically the same, unless you're too feel away. Yeah, j Dog, we know that. We we know that. Yeah, we have quantified evidence. We 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 got you, brother. I mean, what I mean, but that's my point. You don't have to say that because you already know that. So if they don't know that, that's not your fault. They fight in a losing fight. No, they fought and they lost. See, you're fighting a losing fight. Yes, present tense. You need to start saying it in past tense. They fought the losing. They fought for the losing side this gene. If I was Trump. Yeah, I mean, again, Thomas, and I, my, my whole issue with Trump is that I would have claimed that I hooked up with that chick because she said he went raw. And I'm like, all right, if he, this dude went raw, then I'm, that's cool with me. I mean, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm all about him going raw with a porn star. So, you know, but he shouldn't have lied about it. I mean, that's the problem. He should have just come out and kept it 100 and said, yeah, I did it, you know. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, one name Shadow, you're right about that. So some people are just dumb and ignorant. I think J Dog, you gotta. I, I really believe that some people say shit just to try to get shit started, because it's not like they can't go find out the same thing that you know. So, you know, that's just legit. So, you know, so it's, it's I, I, that's what I'm saying. I just think nobody's that stupid. I mean, not with information at your fingertips. You know, what's the, uh, you know, what's the uh, saying, you know, you win, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Mine is you love them in red, you love them in blue, but most of all, you love them in red. Yeah, I mean, look, j Dog, I, I, I've got Rise of the Tomb Raider on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. My niece came over a few months ago and I downloaded, I had them both. And she looked at the PlayStation version, and she she looked at the Xbox version. All she said about the Xbox version was that the Xbox version was a little bit brighter. Those are her words. I mean, she don't care about. She's a she's going to school to be a fashion designer. So I mean, she don't give two shits about what these games are about. She flat said, "Yeah, the Xbox one looks brighter." That's it. So. But yeah, but do you all see what we just did here tonight? So you all gave me the best quotes you could think of out of the Xbox community. And there, and you, and I asked you to name me one quote they were right about, and you didn't name me any. So if you can't name any, maybe if, if they were wrong about everything, you need to be able to say, man, those guys are wrong about everything. They're a bunch of idiots. And that's it. Walk away. Come home, Rambo. Come home. So, <laughs> you wish all players unite and say enough is enough. <laughs> yeah, they gave you a lack and cracking. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and, well, I mean, it's not that she's being honest or telling a lie. If she's being honest, all Trump had to say is, yeah, you know what? You know, I, all he had to, look, put it like this. If he had signed the, non, the NDA, 
she wouldn't have been able to say anything. But because she didn't, she got to talk. All he had to do is, and if I, if it were me, he'd be like, hey, did you hook up with Stormy Daniels? Like, heck yeah, I hooked up with Stormy Daniels, and I hit, and I went raw. You know, that's what I would have said. You know, I went raw. I saw her interview, and yeah, she was right, and everything was all good, you know. <laughs> Maybe he did not. Well, I mean, I don't know. You're right. You're right. You're right. The cracking was slacking, yeah. You know, that's still the cracking is lacking is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. I mean, I literally like hit the floor laughing when he said that. So, I mean, he did. I, I mean, he did. And then he gave her hush money is what that's what happened. So, but I mean, my point, again, I'm not knocking him. He should have just come out and owned it. You're like, hey, look, yeah, I ripped the headboard off with that chick. So. You know, they had to come in and, you know, spray the place down with some of the stuff I did. I mean, whatever you got to say. So, you know. Uh, they feel the need to fight a fake war. Well, I don't understand this. I mean, Jay Fonz is right about amnesia because the first time I remember seeing threads about these consoles was when the OG Xbox launched and you had a bunch of Xbox gamers talking about power and how much better grand theft auto vice city and san andreas looked on the xbox on the og xbox and again that's what i remember now maybe it happened differently but that's what i specifically remember going on and this was back when you had tv shows like x play and and uh, all that stuff attack of the show there were people emailing and stuff like that Saying how come the games look better on? I mean, it's a long time ago. So, hey, what do you what do you say? What do you call a joke that hits before a storm? Okay, what do you call it? So, well, Trump is not rich. That's what people do not understand. So, you have many details like seabirds and frogs and God of War, but no body octopus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and again, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, uh, God of War. So, yeah, X Play, yeah. So, a Halo Storm. <laughs> so, man, that's silly. So, does bosses drop better level gear? Hard? I do not know. I didn't play the hardest difficulty. Xbox fanboys are just moist and salty. That's right. They they look, they pee sitting down and their girlfriends pee standing up. That's all that is. So yeah, attack of the show. Yeah, that was Olivia Munn and Kevin Pereira. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, attack of the show. I right, that that's uh that was 7 p.m. I used to watch that show religiously. So and X Play was on after that. Morgan Webb, I mean, Morgan Webb was fine. She had a rack and a half on her. So, uh, don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Judgment Day. Yeah, if it's the show I'm thinking of, I think I do remember Judgment Day. So, you don't believe her? Oh, that's fine. I mean, that's 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 fine. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not. Look, I am not getting into that. I personally. I would have claimed it. That's all I can say. That's all I would have. I would have claimed it. So, <laughs> so, but that's me though. The cracking is lacking. Yeah, it's one of the funniest quotes of the year so far. Yeah, Morgan Webb was something else. So, <laughs> who's Jessica Chabot? So. Yeah, the last time I saw Morgan Webb being interviewed, she was talking about Grand Theft Auto 4. She was talking about Grand Theft Auto 4, and she was actually on um, HLN with Dr. Drew and a couple other people. They were talking about Grand Theft Auto 4. Man, it was, God, it was seems like ages ago. So, But I remember Grand Theft Auto 4 being released at... Uh, I had a four-day weekend. Well, I took off on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to play Grand Theft Auto 4. So, and just went midnight launch at GameStop, went and picked it up, got home, loaded it up, played it all day um, Tuesday. Like, literally woke up at 8 in the morning, 
got myself a big old glass of orange juice, some toast, and then I played Grand Theft Auto 4 all morning long. So, yeah, Morgan Webb was, um, was um, yeah, that's true. She actually had to wear a sports bra, but uh, she was dating the, um, like, the executive producer of that network. So, <laughs> So, I didn't know that either. She was Freya. Cool. Sell your Xbox. Well, look, I technically didn't sell mine. I traded it for a handful of magic beans and some Ripple. So, you have all these AAA games coming out this year. Microsoft Cricket. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they're, this is a tough year for them. It's a tough year for them. So, and it's going to keep getting harder and, you know, dip more difficult. But look, they they rather buy games and and from other publishers than create their own studios. That's just what they're going to be. Adam says it really didn't know that. Well, but I tell you this right now: if it wasn't for Adam Sessler, nobody would be on YouTube because that's basically what we're doing. Is Adam Sessler is the original YouTube guy? He was the one that was doing this shit first. He was just doing it on TV. So. That's the, if he is doing something though like that, that's disappointing. You remember playing Grand Theft Auto on PS2? Yeah. Yeah. Which one do you remember? Uh, was it Grand Theft Auto 3 or San Andreas? San Andreas? Yeah. Yeah. G4 TV? Yeah. It's four. Yeah. It was G4. Yeah. I do too. I mean, you had Olivia Munn on there. You had Kevin Pereira on there. You had um, uh, Olivia Munn, I guess, was the most successful. Yeah, Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb. So I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I sold mine for a bottle of Ripple and Magic Beans, so I'm happy. So yeah, G4 TV. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. They probably wanted to know why he kept taking so many L's. So, so yeah. But guys, that was about it, man. This, this, uh, I wanted to really. Um, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. So, but I really just wanted to bring that to you guys, and just wanted you all to look at it like that. Like, okay, you, we took the best quotes that came out of the uh, Xbox community, and uh, they were lies. They were lies. So uh, Xbox uh, executives never said the beast is coming. All that stuff you said, only one quote came from an Xbox e executive. Only one quote did. So, and um, and the rest of them came from, you know, Jabba Jabba the Ha the Ha and uh, stuff like that. And you all know, we all know they're all full of shit. So, but all right, guys, that's it. I'm going to bounce out of here like a, like a bad check. Uh, everybody go check out that Infinity War. It's already made $800 million. So uh, so you all take it easy, man. And you all stay up and stay on point and keep it gaming. It's 10 o'clock. So uh, we've been on for about an hour. And the porch light has come on. And I am headed into the house. So you all take it easy. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hitting the like button. And uh, you all stay blessed and take it easy. Peace.